Hello, doers, and welcome to this video on setting up an automated table appointment system in Odoo. Managing reservations, hours, and tables can be a little bit challenging, but Odoo simplifies the entire process. So from appointment scheduling to online bookings, the point-of-sale application handles everything. So let's go ahead and check it out together in Odoo. All right, let's head into our point of sale, configuration and settings. And just before doing anything, keep in mind that those settings uh, cannot be changed if you have an um, active session open. So make sure that your session is closed. And then for us, we're just going to go ahead and enable the table booking feature right here. And uh, we can just create an appointment type from here by just typing its name. Uh, let's say reservations. And we're going to create and edit. Now, we have a lot of options to choose from, so let me go through them really quickly. So we have the duration field, which specifies how long a table will be used for uh, once it's booked. So let's say two hours. Then we also have an option to create a time slot every so-and-so minutes. So we'll set it for, uh, let's say, 30 minutes which kind of determines the uh, how often the bookings can start. Then we have the pre-booking time, which uh, specifies the minimum notice required before a reservation is made. So let's set this to four hours, which will be more than enough for us to prepare. Then we have the scheduling window option, which controls um, how far in advance a table can be booked. So we can choose either a specific date range or we can just choose a number of days. Uh, and actually this here, by default, 15 days into the future is perfect for us, so we'll keep it like that. Then we have allow canceling, which decides how long uh, before the booking the customers can cancel it. Uh, let's give ourselves maybe a bit more time, like two hours here. And uh, another thing that we can do from here is uh, changing, is updating our schedule. So here I will edit it to match our opening hours which are in the morning from 11.30 to 2.30. And then our evening service is from uh, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. All right. Um, then next up, we uh, can choose the availability on options. So we can choose between users, which doesn't make much sense in our case, or resources. And here we would uh, select all of our tables that are available for booking. Uh, next up, we have managing capacities, which uh, basically, if it's fixed, uh, it manages the maximum amount of people our restaurant can handle, so we don't accidentally get overbooked. And then under assignment method, we're going to choose uh, this option here, so select time, then auto-assign, so the tables just get auto-assigned and the customers will not get the choice of which table they want to book. Um, now, of course, I still need to edit the opening hours for uh, the remaining days and add all of my tables. I'm going to go ahead and configure that off screen. Do I need to leave the app if I want to edit the appointment slots? Oh, no, of course. You don't have to do that. What you can simply do is just click on the little arrow here next to your appointment type. And it will take you directly to a screen where you can manage and edit the time slots or anything else about your appointment as many times as you want. Also, if uh, you take a look here at the resources smart button, uh, it will allow us to do something pretty cool as well. So imagine if we have a booking for, uh, let's say, six people. You might recall that we don't actually have a table that seats this many people. Uh, this option allows us to configure it so uh, that Odoo merges tables to accommodate bigger groups. So imagine our table number one here. Uh, we can link resources to it. Actually, in this case, it already has been done, but I'll just show you really quickly again. So I could add a table uh, 102 and table 103 to it. So then if a bigger uh, group comes, system will know to automatically merge those tables together. So every group can be happy at a restaurant. All right. Now that we have configured all of those options, uh, all that's left to do is make uh, this appointment type available uh, for booking. So I will use another smart button here to go to the website. And here I can toggle the unpublished button here to published. Uh, so now our customers can access this via the website, select their date and time, complete the form and confirm their reservation. Perfect. Now, let's also just see what this looks like uh, 
from inside of the point of sale uh, dashboard. So we'll go into our Bon Appetit restaurant, open register. And now if we simply click on booking here, we can see all of the reservations that have been made. Um, <clears throat> and from this view, we could also modify the booking if we needed to. Um, so either if we click here and modify the form, um, and just clicking edit and modifying the form, uh, or we could also just drag and drop to move our reservation uh, and accommodate the customers better. Now, if we switch to our floor plan as well, uh, from here, we can see that the reservations are actually also showing up directly on our table. So we immediately know which tables are available and which are reserved for customers booking. So that is it from our side. We have our on online appointment system ready for our customers to you. Hopefully this was easy and you enjoyed this tutorial. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. See you then.